Hi there, so um, yeah, this is a another pretty quick tutorial. Um, I'm going to show you how to um, create holes in uh, objects, um, like sheets of metal, for example, um, without having to use the Boolean tool, because the Boolean can give you quite messy uh, geometry that's uh, pretty difficult to texture. Um, I'm going to show you how to do this um, in two different ways. One is by using an, uh, a texture, uh, and the other is to uh, create it with solid geometry. So, um, first of all, I'll I'll go ahead and show you how I'd create some holes uh, by using actual geometry. So, um, uh, I'm just going to start off with a plane, and then I'm going to subdivide this just by. 10 by 10 and um, then wherever you want the holes oh yeah um, if you add an edit poly modifier in this drop down list uh, and then select um, your verte vertex selection and with these vertexes you're going to be um, selecting where you want the holes to be so I'm just going to randomly select a few places that I'd maybe want um, some holes in the sheet of metal um, and then simple as this you just have to go to the um, the camphor tool uh, and just camphor in some of these uh, depending on how big you want these holes and um, tick that and then if you go to your polygon selection uh, go ahead and delete all of these out so you can see where this is going I'm then going to Add the turbo smooth modifier, uh, and if you just increase the iterations to to two, you can see that we've got some uh, nice, uh, yeah, just holes in our geometry. Um, and if you want to make this thicker, you could easily do this with, um, yeah, if you just add a shell modifier. Um, and there you have it, there's some simple holes, really easy to do, really quick to make um, yeah, really really easy uh, so there's one way the other way I'm going to do it with is by using a texture so I'm just going to create a plane, um, doesn't need to be doesn't need to have like, more than one poly really because I'm not going to be uh, deforming it at all. Um, so there we go, there's our plane. And then I'm going to open up my material editor, um, which you can just press M on the keyboard and that will open that up. I'm then going to just load in a um, scratched metal material I got from vraymaterials.de and load in the JPEGs. Um, for the actual metal, so I'll show you what that looks like now. It's uh, just a scratched metal material, but with no holes in it whatsoever. So, in order to make holes in this geometry, I'm going to go into Photoshop and uh, create a a new um, I don't know, image. And I'm going to make it a square image. Uh, 1024 by 1024 is is sort of a, a default number for texturing, so I'm going to use that. Um, and then I'm just going to dot on some holes where I'd want some gaps in this uh, geometry. So, so I want it. I don't know. It could be bullet holes. And I'm just going to save as. Um, yeah, just save it as a name you'll remember. I've got opacity map. Yep, so once that's saved out, back into 3ds Max. Again, open up the material editor with M. And then if you zoom in, you'll see the opacity um, option here. So you can just drag that out and let go. And you want to choose the map, the uh, bitmap that you uh, just created 
So I'm going to choose that. And then that will, as you can see here, create some holes in your geometry. Um, and a good way to see where these holes will be is double click on the bitmap and if you put show shaded material in viewport it will show where these holes will be in the viewport um, <clears throat> and yeah just click your active shade and we've got some holes in our our plane so easy as that to do really um, they're just some really simple ways to create some perforated um, material. Uh, there's also a lot of materials on the vraymaterials.de site. Um, I'm sure you could find, I think I've even got an example. Um, For example, some people who are a lot better at texturing than I am. Look, you can just that'll be a material that you can just slap onto your model, providing it's UV um, mapped well. But yeah, that's just ridiculous. Um, I don't even know where you'd start in creating something like that. But yeah, similar techniques, but just a lot more experience. So yeah, there's uh, hopefully this quick tutorial that. Um, you'll find useful.